What's going on, Explorers? Brandon Abandoned, Six Four Explorer, Explorer Thurbeck Stickman. Got a pretty neat little spot for you guys today. It's just a tiny little bungalow. It's still got all its old features. There's not much left. There's still a few cool things, but it was an awesome house. It was just one that I drove by and found. So you know I'm gonna film it. You know I'm gonna show you guys. Let's just jump right in there. Let's start checking it out. everybody so we're at the back of the house we got a garage that's made into a little living space but besides the windows it's all pretty pretty tightly closed up just from the way they had it built and then the one door that you can get in the garage has fallen down a bit so you can't open it but we'll look in the windows we'll take a peek at it let's get in here first all right it's almost like a little cottage the way it's kind of set up at first the way that it smells anyway some nice stained glass windows got a little cat bed couch a couple couple litter boxes I'm not totally sure what's been going on with it it's quite cobwebby there's no power there's no water crap down in there and the ceiling falling down a little makeshift shelf a bunch of different types of wallpaper in here all fancy purple and one with some flowers but all the windows they're all nicely curved. Sorry, that's not even a window, that's just the inside. It's just like a little little bar look through. But the doors, they're all low, they're all curved. There's a little peek of the garage again. Good old Canada flag. Like nice fancy wood around there. Still little bits of stuff around, but like the ceiling, everything in here is looking pretty rough. Check it out. There's the other side of that. A very cool mirror that opens up. It's a shelf. A bunch of water. Looks like somebody broke up all the the nice brick that was around. Took it right back down to just the brick. The ugly brick. Oh, with the woodwork and everything around. Nice little bits of detail. Beautiful little bulkhead, nice light. An outside light on the inside, that always puzzles me. And actually this here is pretty cool. Nice little corner shelf. Just the wood that it is, right? Nice stained, it's beautiful. 
Too bad the inside doesn't look as nice, but the outside sure is. Very nice. There you go. A little kitchen. I don't think there's going to be anything in these cabinets. Again, this place looked like it got cleaned out pretty good. Just by the people moving out. Not by rummish fairies. Dirty, but nothing. Some water bottles. Baking soda. Oh, yeah. Might be the only stuff left. Nice set of plates, bowls, cups. That one was stuck. Ew. That's nasty. A couple needles. Remember everybody, be careful. A little Canada Dry. Some uh, toilet paper in a bag. An old school plastic uh, Lazy Susan in there. That's pretty cool. That's where we get down to the basement. There's no upstairs because this is a bungalow. But the downstairs has some pretty cool stuff. And let's just go back down here. I can't remember. Okay, yeah, we looked in that room. And then here's just the closet. So yeah, from here, Time to go to the basement. I just wanted to point out, the plant's doing beautiful, eh? <laughs> Plastic plants. Look at the cobwebs around too. See that right in front of the screen? All around, everywhere. Mice poo. Mice poo, all on the counters. That's a dead giveaway. Abandoned. Okay. Let's get some light. A lot of mess on my carpet. Okay. This is a pretty groovy basement. I won't lie. Doesn't have much, but what it has, beautiful. Let's go right over here. Smells damp. Smells like it's flooded for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at that. Pearlies. Old school. I haven't even seen one that old. Wow. Did that have a year on it? 88. That's crazy. A nice painting. A little water mill. There's a bunch of power bars and stuff hanging around. Maybe as though somebody was squatting here at one point. But look at that. Nasty. And it's very low down here, so I'm ducking. We got a couple coat hangers. Ceiling falling down. Blankets. It looks like a tripod. Let's see, is that? February. Um. I don't seem to see a date though. That's kind of strange if it's a calendar. And it's got all the days, December, 1 to 3, right, through 31. But no, no year. Hmm. Strange. This little cabinet. Ugh. Might not even be. Yeah, there we go. I had a feeling. Look how cool that is. Give me one second here. There we go. Look at that bad boy. 
Custom Series 35 RCA Victor. The all Hannister solid plate. Very cool. That's awesome. Because you know those were speakers, but then once the drawers didn't open, it had to be something else. We got Magic Mickey. A little cash box with nothing in it. And can you imagine that, eh? Since the door was open, the windows were open, so people had been here, what are the chances there would be money in a cash box? That furry pole. Ooh. A bunch of drills. I'm not sure what that is. TV poker. At least you plug that into your TV and hit your buttons. Real old couch, like that's low. <laughs> that seat is probably only to the top of the cushion, about eight inches off the ground. There's got to have been legs on it at some point. Check out that. That's real nice. Even got the little metal, little metal piece. Very cool. A little mirror here. You can see I got my vest on. I just like to vest up when I go to places. Makes you a little more official. People will leave you alone. A little bit more than if you were just wearing all black. So that's just a little storage room. Check this out. I'm going to try and turn this right down. Get rid of some of the glare. We got 88, 67, 54. And those are the years. Like, that's crazy. Boston, Toronto, Penguins, Montreal. And that's very, very cool. I wonder what those were from. I wonder where you collected them, what they came out of. A case of beer or were they in a pack of cards? Oh, and I guess some of this fireplace, they must have cleaned it up and taken it upstairs. Maybe they put it in buckets and lifted it up through. And that's why it's all up there. Now this one's closed off. Wall's coming down real bad. Not sure what that pipe's all about. Must have been some real nice stone on here that they took off. Definitely must have been. Probably some marble. There's all the all the fireplace tools. Poker, brush, and the little sweeping pan. Very cool. Besides that in here, we just got some cables, boxes, a couple makeshift shelves. And that's bad too, mold starting. Cobwebs and crap everywhere. I really like this little side of the room. The nice picture, the beautiful door, the chair, the shelf, the record player, Mickey. Even got a bed. <laughs> you know, duck under all these all these st uh, strings ropes they've got set up with clothes hangers a little a little outfit carrier almost Some cleaning stuff a couple beers Look at that, eh? Sub pump right up as high as it could go. Gross. Is there anything I can throw in there? Nope. Uh, maybe this. <laughs> and look, they got a battery. They got a battery set up to keep the pump going. So after the power was cut to the house, the guy came pretty savvy with this little machine. Hooked up a battery, hooked up his own pump. 
his own power to the sub pump and he's keeping his house from flooding that's awesome look at the i'm pretty sure it's been a while now there's no power to it it looks pretty bad must have flooded quick and then just burnt that whole thing out yeah there's even a little bit of water down there that's for sure what happened it was doing its job but then once the winter hit and everything was flooding out it got overwhelmed and it got flooded cool very very cool so let's go take a little peek at that outside garage building all right so i forgot to show this got the old flintstone picture hand drawn by s brecken but this here i'm glad this is going to make it into the video i totally walked by it i don't know how i missed it but check this out we've got another one a victorola i've never seen the white body like that it's even got the little metal little metal tag on it gerard and here we got the old like equalizer thing here yeah, check that out still works going up going down that's very very cool I had to make sure that made it into the video I'm I'm telling a buddy about this place so if he had it shown up and this was in his video but not in mine I'd have been jealous and what's going on here Spectre 007 special edition look at that guy what's going on James very very cool and so that other calendar it was 1993 I ended up finding it was well hidden but I ended up finding it on there I got another calendar here I did a quick little peek again and it also this one this one really doesn't have a date so that I couldn't tell you and we got a mess in here the beautiful wood they got them fancy lights again that's always good <laughs> a little extra mirror for shaving yeah, big old sink some cleaning products they got their little shelf that's very cool good thing i added this good thing i didn't walk by it twice now we're gonna go outside and check out that little building so i'll show you a little bit of a window tour whoa of this building here but it's still pretty cool somebody made it over to be an apartment you see what's going on here like we got a fridge over there it's very cool in here so i'm actually kind of tempted to possibly climb one of these windows and get in there it's all this cool stuff here see what i mean it's packed full stuff all over they used they used a lot of poly in this building not just to close it off but also to do that look at that that's really cool beer is better fresh since 1786 export ah that's a toilet seat <laughs> can you guys make that out look that's a toilet seat that's pretty cool all right maybe if the other window's easier to get in i might give it a try but we're gonna go look in that window anyway just to show you a little bit of this beautiful property there's a little shed over there but there's nothing in it i checked it out all that's in there is a fertilizer just a little push thing Lena, beautiful property really nice again <laughs> tons of footprints all over the place nothing's ever safe here's the other part see what i mean like you could be able to get in this door but the old garage door fell down and it's blocking it <laughs> we've got see a little bit in here this view is a little bit better 
cool little tree house. They're growing tomatoes. He's got his well right there. Old, old receiver. Check it out. Tons of stuff going on in here. Close that. Propane tanks. And shelves, chairs. But with the fridge and all that, there's definitely a bed in here at one point. Maybe that's this frame that's out here. Maybe whoever was living in here, he got kicked out. Because we got a bed frame right here. So chances are good. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Alright everybody, what would you think about that, eh? Short and sweet little video. But that's a cool little house. Had a little bit of... A little bit of stuff left it had a little bit of life a little bit of attitude left it's just so cool that these houses are all sitting here and the fact that it's it's way out in the middle of nowhere you wouldn't think anybody had been here but sure enough you go walking around the back of the property and there's footsteps everywhere doors are open windows are open so i guess that's the game whenever you get here you get here but thank you all very much for the love for the support like it subscribe it share it thank you for the comments Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you on the next Explore. Ciao. in the back, but we still need to react, not from old consciousness, cause Einstein was right, we ain't shit, we'll get the same consequence, we gotta fight with the mind power of one, much like they control sun, we must use the strongest weapon, that we never really mastered, yeah, you know it, uh-huh, that's right, love.